Hey guys, it's Mrs. Mallet, and I'm going to show you how to add fractions with unlike denominators and simplify if necessary. The vocabulary that you need to know is numerator, denominator, simplify, multiple, and factor. The two fractions that I'm going to add are two thirds plus one sixth. Now in fractions, you can't just add straight across. What I mean is you can't say two plus one equals three and three plus six equals nine. That just doesn't work. You have to find a common denominator. To do so, you need to look at the two denominators. The first step would be to ask yourself, do you see that one denominator is a multiple of the other? Well, I see that six is a multiple of three. What I mean is that you can skip count three and get to six. So that means that six can be a common denominator for these two fractions. So I'm gonna use six as my denominator. Since six is already a denominator for this fraction, I am just going to rewrite it. Since I'm gonna use six over here, I'm gonna write the six. Now, I cannot just write the two and call it a day. 2 thirds is not the same as 2 sixths. It's a different fraction. You're like, well then what do I do? Well, to go from 3 to 6, you have to multiply by 2. The identity property of multiplication tells us that whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top, and also the opposite. Whatever you do to the top of a fraction, you have to do to the bottom. So since I multiplied the denominator by 2 to become a 6, I also multiply the numerator of a fraction by 2 to become a 4. 2 thirds is an equivalent fraction to 4 sixths. I'll prove it to you with these fraction tiles. There are 2 thirds and here are 4 sixths. We're good to go. Now, I can add straight across since I have a common denominator between the two fractions. Four plus one equals five, and I just slide the six on over. So, four six plus one six equals five six. That's great, but my original question didn't ask that. It asked what two thirds plus one six equaled, and it's still five six. You might be saying, Huh? That doesn't make any sense. So again, I'll prove it with these fraction tiles. Two thirds plus one sixth equals five sixths. One sixth, two sixth, three sixth, four sixth, and five sixth. It works. So when your teacher asks you to find common denominators, she really means it because that's the only way it makes sense. Thanks for watching.